Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash, and I am here with some daily gaming news. Now, today I'm going to be talking about Boostroid, and if you don't know what Boostroid is, you really should. It's a cloud gaming service provider where you can play games that you own through a variety of different platforms as if you were playing them on a sort of high-end PC. You stream them to your own computer, your laptop, whatever you're going to stream it to. And I've been playing this for quite a while. I've been using it for a bit. I've done a few reviews of games. I reviewed some of Xbox's new releases. You're looking at uh, Hellblade 2 and stuff like that. And I love the system. Now, I was always a bit of a cloud gaming naysayer. I never thought cloud gaming was going to be good. I've never had a good experience to the point that I thought this could be the future until I started using Boosteroid. And honestly, I used Boosteroid when I was on holiday a bit back and it was almost like playing it natively without all the hassle of having to install games and stuff like that. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to be doing a full review of the games from Xbox. I've been playing through them. The problem I'd have is every time I get close to getting this video completed, Boostroid add a ton more games and I need to be like, oh my god, I need to play more. And this is why I'm doing a quick news video, because today, the 7th of August 2024, Boostroid announced they have added 13 new games to their platform that are on Xbox Game Pass. So if you subscribe to Xbox Game Pass or you own these games on Xbox, you can play them through Boosteroid as if basically you're playing it on the hardware. It's pretty cool. And it's a good mix of games this time they've added. And most of the games that have been added previously on Xbox, as you can see here, have been the sort of Xbox first party stuff, your Starfield, your State of Decay, your Minecraft, your Gears of War, stuff like that. But the 13 that have been added today are pretty cool. You've got Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, which is a really good fighting game that I have reviewed on the channel already. Still Wakes the Deep, which has been massively popular recently. Robin Hood, Sherwood Builders, The Case of the Golden Idol, to cheer, which is something that I've got on my uh, to-do list. I really want to play it. I downloaded it when it was on PS Plus and just never got to it. So now it's come to Xbox. I'm excited to play it. Magical Delicacy, Dungeons of Hintenburg, which is an awesome game. Then you've got some older ones. You've got a uh, totally accurate battle simulator, Human Fall Flat, Dungeons 4, No Man's Sky, Pal World... And I believe Power Wash Simulator. And on top of that, there's also other games that have been added recently. Sea of Stars, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, which is one of the best sort of retro-inspired 2D beat-em-up games I've played in a long time. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Chivalry, and more. So, if you've got a Boostroid subscription and you subscribe to Game Pass... You can play these games, and I will put a link in the description of this video so you can jump in and sign up for Boosteroid. Now, obviously, it depends on your internet speed. Where I am at the moment, my internet sucks. I get 30 to 40 megs a second, like download, with at best about 7 meg upload. And most games I've played on Boostroid have run great at, at speed. Now, when I was on holiday, I had 70 meg, and I had absolutely no problems. Bar like odd, very minor sort of um, flickers here and there every sort of while while I was playing. I couldn't tell it wasn't on native hardware. I was playing through... Um, a few games evil west i played loads of and i had a ton of fun playing it and ghostwire tokyo so give it a try like i say i was always a naysayer for cloud gaming but times are changing internet's getting better nowadays when you can get like gig download internet speeds and 100 meg upload speeds cloud gaming is thriving and boostroid honestly have been great partners for the channel They've allowed us to try out a ton of games. I'm going to be doing more videos soon, full reviews. 
and they add games every single week nearly there's just always something new added and it's not just xbox they have steam ea i can even show you look you can see the different platforms battlenet epic games store wargaming.net and rockstar games so there's tons 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 of different games you can play on it but the fact that they've just done a massive dump of 13 game pass games that are all pretty new i think they've all come out onto game pass in the last sort of month is great and i hope they do more of this going forward with the new game pass releases because it's absolutely great but anyway guys that's that for this sort of little bit of daily gaming news for you hit that like button hit subscribe and i'll see you soon for more gaming content guys thanks for watching